Hello YouTubers, this is Rob Brizzy95 back again with uh, the green cards I have so far. This one will be fairly short because for some reason I weeded out most of the green cards. Uh, I want to get through this pretty quick because the blue one is going to be kind of lengthy. Uh, and I know how much you all love to hear me drone on and on. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, let's start it off with a Crows and Tusker. Good card. Very good card. Got a Frontier Guide. Good way to get lands out of your deck from Zendikar, an uncommon. Uh, got a Mold Shambler, good way to destroy enchantments artifacts. Of course, Sakura Tribe Elder, Ramp. Uh, this one is a Thriss Nantaku Primus, and it gives creatures for uh, for five colorless and two green, and then when you pay a green and tap it, it gives creatures plus five, target creature plus five, plus five, uh, until end of turn. Actually, got, I think I got this from Milo. Um, it's a really cool card. I used to play with it back in the day. Uh, making creatures big is always good. Here's some more ramp in Fertilid. Very good card. Of course, you've got to have the Indrick Stomp Howler. This is a good card. This is a very good card. So. Uh, I just threw this in here to have a beater. Um, got a Vorapede. I want to be able to do have some spells, but to have some stuff to ram down people's throats, just in case things don't work right. Uh, or any green deck should have this, or of Moldaya. Green decks should all have this. It's an awesome card. People should buy two play sets of it because it's just. And if you play modern, I had a, I had an Oracle Moldaya in my um, had a blue green mill deck that ran back in. Um, I'm sorry, blue green black mill back when Zendikar and Alara were. I know I said I had mentioned Zendikar and Alara a lot, but uh, back when that was standard and it had the. I had a couple memory erosions, and then I also had things like Mind Funeral, Hedron Crab, Harrow, um, Colony Heart Expedition, uh, Archive Traps, Traumatizes, and stuff like that. And this lets you play an extra land every turn, and with the Colony Heart Expeditions and the Hedron Crabs, if you had like three, two or three Hedron Crabs out with that uh, 6, 12, 18, 18 cards from the top person's library every turn for two lands in play. I mean, it was fun. It, it actually worked really quick as soon as you got these guys out, and as soon as, um, I mean, you could ramp in real quick with Harrows and Rampic Rose and the Colony Heart Expeditions popping off, and it, it, it was it was really fun. It was really fun. Anyway, uh, Gigantomancer, making things 8-8 eight, eight isn't a bad thing. And getting most of these creatures out will be very easy with this. Elvish Piper. Green decks that are running large creatures that are heavily, highly mana costing, or have a high mana cost, um, should run this. Let you put them out for one green. And if you've got like, uh, I don't know, uh, a twiddle or a twitch or something to untap her, you can use it again. Uh, so my brain isn't functioning very well right now. So, but it's a really good card. I think it's still pretty budget. I think it's only a five dollar card. Uh, I think this is the this is the M10 M10 one. Uh, I like the art on this one. so uh, Of course, since I'm not running the Titans by choice, I'm running the Praetors. So we've got Sexy Clexi right here. Warren Clex, the voice of hunger. Usually people try and get rid of this guy as fast as possible. So, But he's a really, really good card. Yeah. Uh, onto spells, we've got Rites of Flourishing. It's basically a Howling Mine. So, um, and, and you can... It's like Howling Mine plus Orgo Moldaya, so it's not bad. Uh, we've got Untamed Wilds for searching for cards, so it's a really good card. Uh, of course, here's an old, speaking of, an old school Harrow. I think this is actually, when I was unpacking some boxes, I found an open, a couple unopened starter decks from the Urza block, and this was in there, so it's actually in really good condition, but that was an original Harrow. Uh, aestheticism really good card. Uh, I use it in my chorus deck, I use it in pretty much a lot of stuff. Giving, Making things untargetable is, is pretty good. Um, and of course we've got a um, Primeval Light. It lets you destroy target enchantment player controls. That's actually a foil one. Uh, there you go. Uh, it's a fairly decent card. I mean it only costs uh, an EDH, it's not easy to get up to these numbers. Three colorless and one green, destroy target enchantment. So, it's not bad. Uh, we got an All Sun's Dawn. Good card for retrieving lands. Um, cultivate, since I'm out of Kodama's reaches. 
uh, here's a primal, hold on a second, primal growth, fairly decent card, it's from Time Spiral, I believe, so, it's primal growth, uh, and of course, for making those extra chumps and extra mana every turn, Awakening Zone, really good card. So, I'm going to do the red, too, since there's not many of that. So let's do that as well. So I'll, I'll cut down on the videos here. Uh, I've got a Vyashino Heretic. lets you destroy artifacts. Really good card. It's Shatter on a Stick. It's just a really good card. Vyashino Heretic. It's from uh, Urza Legacy? The one with the hammer. I think it's Urza's Legacy. It's from the Urza block. Vyashino Heretic. Good card. Uh, got an Obsidian Fireheart, another decent card, very underrated. Of course, another Praetor in Urbras the Hidden. Another Beat Stick with Lord of Shattered Skull Pass. Another one with Bellfire Dragon. There's a good card, very underrated, not many people played it. Galvanoth is actually a fairly decent card. Uh, another one in Kazul, Tyrant of the Cliffs. Um, here we have a... Uh, I'm going to brain fart here. A reroute, changing target of spells. Of course, a increasing vengeance. Ah, uh, this card is fun. So, for six colors in red, Whenever a creature is put into a graveyard from play, you uh, may have Vicious Shadows deal damage to target player equal to the number of cards in that player's hand. Vicious Shadows. It's from Shards, I think. Yeah, Shards of Alara. It's a really good card. That's actually uh, Rakamar on there. She's the Jund um, Dragon Mancer, or whatever she was called. Uh, you know... This is a really good card, uh, and getting to 7 mana in EDH is not very hard, so. Uh, of course, to help produce the extra mana, Mana Geyser. This one's from... I can't I remember that set. Uh, mana Geyser, good card for extra mana. Uh, here's a fun card I just may keep in to copy with Riku and stuff like that, just to make the game more interesting. Warp World, first printed in Ravnica. This card is fun. This card is fun. It's frustrating. It's mean. Scrambleverse does a similar thing. You know, come on. It's fun. It'd just be fun to double it. So it'd be. I know it'd be awfully frustrating. Awfully frustrating. I can, I can speak today. Uh, of course, we've got Quest for the Pure Flame. Extra damage is always good. Can't fail with your basic Fireball. I may swap it out for one of my uh, revised ones, just because I like the art on the revised ones. Uh, of course, Red Sun's Dawn. This one is uh, thanks to It That Betrayed. Uh, we've got a Final Fortune, which I think I may be able to achieve if I do something. Of course, more removal in Slagstorm. This one should always be fun. Wheel of Fortune. And of course, one of my favorite cards from Time Spiral, and I think it was first in... Odyssey or McKay in Mass, I don't remember. But uh, Browbeat. Browbeat's a fun card. So, Anyway, so that's the green and the red. Uh, please, remember, these are just baselines here. Offer suggestions. If, if, I, if there's a card I should be using that's not here, mention it, and if I got it, I'll put it in. And if not, I'll trade for it. Um, so, anyway. So, until next time, YouTubers, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, give me your information. Uh, anyway, see you later.